Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And before we go to the retouch video, let me show off this space right here real quick. <laughs> Alright, so I have actually um, built my new PC and that video is going to be on my personal page. So you guys need to check that out. You can check the link in the description for this personal page so you can see the process I went through to create this um, new computer it's super fast I can edit 4k videos without any issues it's just perfect trust me so you can check out my channel after this video and you can see the editing well not the editing process but the building process it's, it's a quick one so check that out all right so let's get to the image all right so this image was shot in my studio um, let me show you the settings real quick um, file here all right so I was using come down to the raw no where do I go raw right so I was using the Sony a7 III camera for this um, photo shoot I was using the 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens and I was shooting at f6.3 if you want the face to be in focus you have to shoot at f like 7 f8 f11 up there you know or 5.6 you could do 5.6 but you want to do a high f number um, to ensure that you get the best image the image should be in focus like all around so yeah all right so it was 1 over 125th of a second and the iso was 160th all right so let's get right to the edge and the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to crop this image so i'm going to press c on the keyboard to crop the image as usual i always crop my images to the four to five ratio so when I upload it to Instagram, it fills the entire page. So let me push this up here. All right, so this is the crop I want to use. I always crop my images. Oh, and this is the Valentine um, photo. <laughs> yeah, this is for a Valentine photo shoot. I did two um, photo shoot actually on the same day and yeah. So let me quickly um, edit the image. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a duplicate real quick. And then I'm just gonna zoom the image up. I'm using the tablet. The, you can check the link in the description as well for the tablet that I'm using and yeah I'm gonna press J on the keyboard I'm just gonna select the pimples from the model's face and I'm just gonna remove that I'm gonna do it real quick because um, most of you if you have seen my video if you're subscribed you know the process and I edit all my videos the same way so um, all my images the same way so you get the drift so I'm just gonna do this real quick and you should just take your time when you're editing also you don't want to rush your edits at all but because I'm doing a video and I don't want it to be longer than 15 minutes I don't want to do any 20 minutes video anymore <laughs> I want to do shorter videos like straight to the point videos you know so yeah so check out my personal channel for the PC build you'll get all the specs that's on it and this that's what I'm using right now is not it's not going to be my official desk i actually um have a uh, i don't know what they call them a woodwork man a man that does woodwork <laughs> um to create a table for me a desk not a table a desktop a tabletop so i'm going to show off this tabletop it's going to be the, the the um table i'll be using or yeah the table I'll be using is going to be one of those standing tables so it can go up and down because I think I sit too long editing you know so I need to stand sometimes so yeah and then my PC is now gonna be on the desk itself so yep so I think I'm done with removing the pimples I don't see anything else here I need to remove maybe this right here and that's about it all right good so let me just zoom out oh she did her own makeup as well she's actually a makeup artist all right so that's done the next step now is to do some frequent separation um what do you call it mixing so i'm gonna use i'm gonna do a frequent separation using the mixer brush so let's get right to it so i'm gonna select the mixer brush right here and then i'm gonna come over here and ensure that my wet is at two percent and everything else remains the same um if this has a color you can click that and you know make sure this is selected make sure that this is cleared normally when you click this it will clear it so yeah 
all right so i'm on the mixer brush now your mixer brush is normally nested on the brushes so yeah all right so i'm on the mixer brush now so i'm going to do some uh, frequency separation i'm going to get the brush bigger so come over here to the frequency separation action i'm going to do 6.4 for the radius i'm going to come down to the low frequency layer and all i'm going to do is just just brush because what i want to do is to level the skin or i want everything to become one let me look at the before and after good that looks good let's take my time sometimes not all of the image needs to have um what do you call it needs to be mixed or the frequent separation is to be added to it but i just like to do my entire image that way <laughs> all right that looks good so i'm gonna go down to the model's neck and do the same thing just blend it out and i'm just taking my time i don't want to um, rush it or add too much to the to a particular section of the skin and trust me if you want the skin to look as natural as ever when you're doing the frequent separation when you're doing the radius ensure that let me show you like when you're doing the radius put this to about 10 or 15 and you'll have a really good um you'll have really nice textures in the skin and it won't look overdone at all trust me but because I know how to apply the mixer brush because I've been doing it for so long, I know how not to add too much at one section of the skin, you know? So that's the reason why I continue using the 6.4. I'm gonna go up to the hand here and do the same thing. Man, this is so noisy. I think I need to buy a tip because this one is going now. All right. Um, all right, so I see a lot of people been asking me uh, for the they're watching my old videos and they're asking me for the retouch academy's um, Tablet trust me. I can't just give you the tablet like that no, Not tablet. What am I saying? Um, the panel I can't just give you the panel like that because that's something that was purchased and I don't want to get in trouble. So I don't want to really give anybody the um, The panel but trust me you don't need the panel I keep telling you guys you don't need a panel if you notice i don't use the panel i use my actions so maybe you need to create your own actions and create your own workflow because the tab the um panel will not actually improve your retouching so yeah don't focus on that guys i'm gonna go to the top frequency layer and i'm gonna try to get rid of some of these dark you know what no what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the color correction i'm going to try to get rid of some of these dark areas under here so i'm going to press b on the keyboard for the brush use the bracket to get it bigger you can use the left and right bracket to get it bigger and then i'm going to come here to the brush and put this at you know what i want to put the flow at one percent and the opacity at a hundred percent and the brush should be a soft brush all right and then i'm just gonna Hold on an alt and then sample that area. Get my brush smaller and just paint. Let me see before and after. All right, good, so it's subtle. You don't want it to be too obvious that you have made that adjustment. All right. So let me zoom it up. Hold on. So before and after, see? All right. So if you want to do skin color correction, you can use the brush and a new layer and that should do the trick. All right, so I'm done with the freaking separation now. So I'm going to go on to dodge and burn. So I'm going to click the dodge here. The dodge is basically working on the bright areas in the skin. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard, but I'm already on the, um, the brush. So I want to stay at 1% for the flow and just do the highlight. And ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black. All right, before and after. All right, that looks good. Then the chin is also gonna be highlighted, just a little bit. The cheek, under the eye. It's a little bit dark, so I want to brighten it up. A little bit. 
then one more. I think I need to turn off this notification for Instagram. Each time I get messages, it notifies me on the computer. I don't want that. And then right here, just a little highlighting. All right, that looks good. Let me just, just before and after. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna come here to the burn and I'm gonna work on the dark areas. So I'm gonna get my brush a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna brush here. And what you could actually do is just follow the uh, light. Just follow what you see. If you see shadow on the image, you apply shadow on the image. If you pay attention to the makeup artist and see how they do their thing, you follow the same thing and your image will look awesome. Trust me. All right, so that looks good. Before and after, before and after. Let's look at it before and after for everything and see how the image was transformed. Um, what is go again? G, good. So before and after, good. So this is D. Um, where's the and and B? I have a new keyboard, so <laughs> yeah, I still try to learn it. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna do some um, color correcting now or color grading, if you wanna say. So Control Alt E. No, Control Shift Alt E, and then um, I'm gonna create a duplicate. Then I'm gonna go to Camera Raw, so Filter, and then Camera Raw. Um, okay, so it's the first time using Camera Raw, so that's the reason why that's popping up because I haven't done any Photoshop work in Photoshop. This is actually the first image I've done in Photoshop since. I build this new computer so yeah so I did it for you guys all right so I think I like what Otto is doing so I'm just gonna do some uh, what do you call this again dehaze a little bit just like that I'm gonna come over here to where it says collaboration and I'm gonna come down to blue and adjust that good so let's look at it before and after by clicking on this Y right here so this is the before this is the after and all i did was to just play with the blue primary colors on the collaboration and also under the basic what i did was to apply a little da's so you can play with those as well so i mean you don't want to go overboard when you're making your edits trust me you just want to add a little and that's it and trust me you'll have really good images just ensure that you start from from start from in the studio when you're shooting you do a good lighting setup and everything and you won't have anything to worry about so that's the image that's it there's nothing else i need to do let me just zoom up in her face a little bit more all right so right here's a little bit white like right there i'm gonna try to see if i can match the skin with it so i'm gonna create a new layer then i'm gonna press b on the keyboard for the brush then i'm gonna hold on an alt and sample right next to the face i'm still at one percent for the flow and 100 percent for the opacity but I'm gonna move this to about 5% so it can be done faster. I'm just gonna apply it now. All right, so it looks too white. I don't know what's happening. I think I didn't apply. I'm gonna undo, Control Z. I'm gonna go back to 1%. And then I'm gonna select the darker area down here. Cut. All right, Alt and select. And then I'm just gonna try to paint it now. All right, that looks good. All right, before and after. I think it's too much. I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit, maybe like that. And then I think I want to add another frequency separation again. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom uh, layer and I'm gonna apply the frequency separation again. I'm gonna keep it at 64 for the radius. And then I'm gonna click on it and then drag it up right there. And then I'm just gonna try to mix this again. So my mixer brush shortcut is M on the keyboard. All right, look, I don't know why there's a color here now, but if you see a color, just click this once. Good. And then I'm just gonna mix it. And I'm done. That is it. Don't need to do anything else. So that is the image. Um, let me quickly do a before and after so you guys can see. Go to Windows, Arrange, Vertical Up. So before I get this to size up, all right, whatever. 
oh i can put the numbers down here all right so so 15.15 same size good and then when i'm going to cover this side i'm going to scroll down to the bottom and then hold on on alt and press the i so that is the before and after guys so if you've learned anything from this video give me a thumbs up share my video subscribe go over to instagram and like this photo thank you guys for watching and remember to go over to my uh, personal channel to check out the new pc build uh the process of the new pc build so thank you guys again for watching and have a good one bye bye